this is Diane Lee from Teach Pre-K. Um, I love just sharing what I do in my classroom from the resources that I've made in my teacher's PT pay teacher store called Teach Pre-K. Um, I love dinosaurs and I love how excited kids are about dinosaurs. So I've just made some dinosaur activities in my All About Dinosaurs five-day lesson plan. And I just wanna show you some of what's in there because it's really fun. I do a few different things. Um, I do a lot of similar things throughout my themes because I don't do every activity for every theme. That way, activities are being repeated, but not every week. They're being repeated enough that the kids get a lot of practice and I can easily um, assess them and chart progress. But also, you know, I gotta mix it up. So. Um, in my dinosaur unit, I do a little bit of opposite. So I've got these cute little cards with these dinosaurs. So we've got clean and dirty. So the object of this is the kids will find like day and then they'll need to find the opposite, night and young and old. And this guy is super hot and this guy is cold, etc., etc. So um, usually I will have one side of the opposite set out an array face up. We flip cards over, they look at it, we say what it is, they look at the cards that are face up, they find the opposite. So it's a fun game. Um, I have a bunch, this is a pretty thick stack, and the kids really enjoy playing that game. Um, with every single one of my lesson plans, I include a set of classroom posters and some pocket chart strips. So I'll kind of show you what I've got in there. It kind of follows like along like what we what we study. So of course, upside down T-Rex, herbivore. So we talk a lot about er what makes an herbivore, what makes a carnivore, triceratops, velociraptor, carnivores trilobite, they go on a dig. If you're a paleontologist, my sensory bin is full of like dinosaur fossils and things like that. Ankylosaurus, fossils, we talk a lot about fossils that during that unit we make fossils with um, little dinosaur manipulatives and plaster of Paris or just plain plaster paleontologist and Trinodon. So those are the pocket chart strips. So then my posters, I use a lot of the same images, but some different verbiage. So like dinosaurs are tall. Dinosaurs are studied by paleontologists. Dinosaurs become fossils. Carnivores eat other dinosaurs. Herbivores eat plants. Dinosaurs are big. Dinosaurs have spikes. Dinosaurs have horns. So this, these are more like informative little posters. Dinosaur, herbivores have flat teeth and protection, so the spikes. So a lot of times I'll use these not just as like classroom decoration. Um, I will use these as part of my um, class discussion in my lesson about what herbivores and carnivores are. Carnivores have sharp teeth and claws because they eat other dinosaurs. So on and on, dinosaurs are tall, blah, blah, blah. So um, each one has a set like that. And they're just really fun. The kids like the pictures. And like I said, they're really useful for when you want to like teach a lesson on paleontologists or fossils or, um, you know, herbivores, carnivores, things like that. Okay, one thing that I do that I love is, okay, velociraptors, I live in Utah, and they think they have found a lot of raptors in Utah. There's even one called a Utah raptor because there's so many. But every year I make, these are like authentic, like this is as big as a velociraptor claw is. So you know how they have like from Jurassic Park, the scary claw where they tap and scare you to death. Um, I make all of them one of these, and whatever our letter is of the week, it's usually V for volcano or D for dinosaur. 
V. I always liked it when it was V because they're velociraptors hunting for v, the letter V. But they will put on a little dinosaur hat that I got from the dollar store. Um, they'll use this as a claw and we will go around the school and we will point out all the V's or the D's or whatever our letter of the week is with their little claw. And they are just velociraptors for the day and they love it. And that was so simple. But yet it's great because they are looking through text to find the letters um, that we're learning about that week and how they're all around us and all the signs in the school, et cetera, et cetera. Um, another fun literacy activity that I do is I have these little mark a letter and I've got them in uppercase and lowercase. Let me show you the lowercase. Ta-da! Um, we use like little daubers or markers and I have these little decks of cards, letter cards, and we will do like a seek and find. So you can use the lowercase letters with the lowercase letters, so it's a straight match, or lowercase to uppercase, uppercase to lowercase to mix it up and really get them thinking like, okay, if this is a D, then I need to find uppercase D and it doesn't look like this. Um, so I have uppercase and lowercase letter cards. And it's just a fun seek and find activity. I have letter sound matching cards. So they're almost like little puzzles. Sorry, there's a little rustling of plastic. I keep everything in zippy bags. So here I have uppercase B, lowercase B. You put them together, it makes a boat. So all of my pictures begin with the letter and you use them. Match the letters, you complete a dinosaur with a beginning sound picture. So you are doing uppercase um, and lowercase letter matching. Um, you're doing like a little puzzle and that puzzle is the beginning sound of that letter. Um, another thing is I just have these cards lowercase letter cards and uppercase letter cards, which we can use to match upper and lowercase letters. Or, I don't know about you guys, but on my circle time rug, I have letters all the way around and they are lowercase letters. So another thing I like to do is either use the lowercase letters and they have to go and find that letter and put the card on that letter, or I'll use the uppercase cards because it's lowercase letters around my rug and they have to match that instead of just matching letter to letter. And they like doing that around the rug because they get up and they get moving. And they also know like, oh, I love to sit on the R, it's my letter, things like that. Um, then I always have these little books. Um, and this one is carnivores and herbivores. So. The herbivore ones say some dinosaurs are herbivores. Herbivores eat plants. Herbivores have big flat feet. Herbivores may have body armor and horns. And then I have the same thing for carnivores. And they color these and they become a book. And I will show you. So there's herbivores and here's carnivores. And we open them up. Boom. I just think they're cute. And you can add other things to them as well. So they love that. Um, at the end of my unit, I kind of get the kids, I gather them and I say, okay, what if you had a dinosaur? Your own dinosaur, like a pet dinosaur. So what kind of dinosaur would it be? Is it an herbivore? Is it a carnivore? Um, what does it like to eat? What's its name? So we do this as like kind of a little journal page. I have class journals that we do every Friday. We'll do a journal page and we add it and it charts progress. Um, as well, as just, just really fun to see what the kids are thinking. It's a great keepsake for the parents at the end of the year. But so they can draw their dinosaur. My dinosaur is, and they could say a T-Rex or they could say um, a carnivore or an herbivore or a circus performer, whatever they want to say. Um, and you just write that down for them. But if they're ready to write it down, you can write it on a whiteboard or another piece of paper and they can copy. And like its name is 
you know, Jonesy or, you know, Harold, whatever. It likes to eat pizza or popsicles or, you know, it likes to eat triceratops or a stegosaurus or whatever. So this I love because this really showcases like the type of dinosaur that kids really like, kind of what they've learned and they get so creative and they absolutely love it. And usually they take a lot of time with this activity and it's one of the last things that we do for our dinosaur unit and it just makes them happy. So I hope that this has given you um, just some ideas of what you can do, what you can make, whatever. Like I said, this is all in my dinosaur lesson plan. I'll leave a link to that in my description. But there's a lot of this stuff that you can make yourself. Um, and if you're interested in any of it, but you don't want the whole thing, you can DM me on Instagram or leave a comment and I will share a lot of the materials that I have. I won't like share the entire unit, but bits and pieces, if you want it, I'll send it to you. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it and have a great dinosaur unit. Mm -hmm.